All right, so now what we've got is an Arabian city that's been sent in for refurbishing. Um, basically, the client wants it sanded down and varnished, resealed and repaired. Fortunately, it's in pretty damn good condition for something that's been in the outdoors for a good couple of years. There's a little bit of play in the legs and etc. that we'll take up. Uh, but essentially there's no there's no wood rot. It's in pretty good nick. So that's just a bit of elbow grease getting all this old white paint off and then sanding it down and varnishing it. So uh, that's the before pick. Really is in good condition. Apparently it comes from Dubai. Apparently it was old when the client got it. So good to give it a a new lease of life. It won't be white, it will be varnished and it will go as a showpiece in their home instead of being forgotten about outside. So yeah. Luckily the paint is nice and dry and it comes off and separates from the wood quite easily. Um, it's still a bit tedious obviously getting into all these little details but it's a lot better than if it was another kind of paint. For example, like an oil based. So, so, for example, it does come off quite nicely. using really is a chisel that I've sharpened in such a way that it's got a little bit of a hook on the end. Slight burr and that seems to work quite nicely to peel the stuff off. So I think it's going to look stunning. Uh, the detail now on here that wasn't there before because the paint was covering all these little carvings, these little lines. So um, it's going to be a different animal, a totally different creature once it's all said and done. So I've done uh, all the sides on the top except this side and the back. Still got to do the back and then obviously the underside and the legs. Um, but the majority of it is done now. And then it's going to be a case of getting into all these little crevices, all these little nooks and crannies with a sharp tool to get that white out. And then obviously there's white still stuck in between the grains and whatever, and that should be removed with a bit of a sand. And yeah. It is tedious, but it's uh, it's it's not torture. It's actually quite pleasurable. I enjoy this sort of thing every now and again. Sit in the sun and get lost in thoughts. All right, so I've got the random orbital sander on here. This wood turns out to be very hard. Very very hard wood, um, and so now what I'm doing is I'm just working all this 
all the little crevice areas so it's out with the old Dremel and various tools to get into all the spaces and um, the idea is to try to get as much of this white out of the grains as possible but it is tedious no two ways about it but I think it's going to look great right so we're actually approaching now completion of the job most of the paint has been removed and so basically what I'm doing now is just tending to the, the looseness of this. I've secured those two legs now, they're nice and firm. This side isn't too bad but this area here needs to be addressed is play here. So this whole front piece is moving. Clear. So that's got to be addressed. There's a big crack down here, but that's all right. And then it's almost ready for varnishing. It's going to look quite stunning once it's done. All right. So the time has come to start the beautiful varnishing. Interior polywax sealer. This unit will be displayed indoors. So. darkening it quite a bit which is why I wanted to get as much of that white paint off as possible because obviously the darker the wood the more the white will contrast and stick out anyway, I've spent many many hours on this bench to get all that old paint off. Hmm. Gonna look beautiful. School <laughs> doctor is on so well. just really goes on easily. I find these brushes are very good. They're usually called Blondie. I think the one's called Blondie, but this is the uh, same sort of thing. Um, the bristles, the more natural bristles in the in the hair, the better. But they do mix it with a certain percentage synthetics. But you've got to look at the tip. The tips have to be nice and fine. 
the cheaper brushes are thick bristles that just get cut off so they've got these sharp stumpy tips um, and these brushes have got the nice fine hairs which give a nice smooth application and just give a nice feel Stuck into this now and get this first coat on. The idea with wood dock is that you apply a liberal first coat, wait for it to dry, sand it all down lightly with either steel wool or a fine sandpaper or sanding sponge, um, and then you apply your second coat and sand that down as well once it's on and then you apply your third coat and that you don't sand that you just leave and it's just this glorious tiger's eye it gives a glorious tiger's eye effect to the wood meaning that it looks almost glassy or you know, sort of translucent and it literally is. The, the polywax sealer goes into the fibers and the fibers are obviously going into the wood and light like little pieces of uh, fiber optics lights it all up for a few moles inside. But yeah, glorious. All right, so the first coat is not dry. Woodock doesn't specify how long it must dry for, they basically just say allow to dry fully. Um, but it's easy to know when it dries because when you sand it with the... Let's get the right lighting. It goes like white. White powdery. starts going and that's very nice because when you want to re when you want to apply the next coat it's easy to see where you have been and where you haven't so it's actually a great feature of this polywax product so go over the whole thing with the light sand smooths it off and takes off any burrs and uh, particles that might have landed on it while it was drying but mainly it's just to smooth the, the fibers because when wood gets wet it, the little fibers stick up and then it sets as the varnish hardens and then you it's almost like shaving it You don't need a very rough, smooth sandpaper is the best for this. It's sort of 200 grit and above, I'd say. Wood Doc recommends using the uh, steel wool. It. So anyway, sand the entire thing down, give it another coat, and then allow that to dry, sand it all down again, give it the third coat and you leave it. Right, so I'm now beginning with the second coat. Um, it really goes on very easily now because um, it's not absorbing as much as the first coat, so you don't have to apply as much. Just so make sure you don't get any runs and that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, it really is a 
pleasurable and rewarding task. The lighting's not great, but anyway. A little goes a long way with the stuff now in this with this application. The more porous the wood, like sort of plywoods and softer woods, you use a lot more. Um, but obviously this is quite a hard wood. Still haven't really identified what wood it is. But um, it's pretty hard. Oops. Damn it, bloody wind. Uh, anyway, luckily there is still one sanding session to go. But yeah, getting it. Alright, delivery day. All the coats are on and it's going to go back to its owner and uh, find a new place in the house instead of outside on the in the weather in the rain on the stoop <laughs>